Hi again, and welcome to Chapter 4, Pediatric Advanced Life Support. In this section, we'll just be covering the fundamentals of the anatomy and physiology of the heart. So here we have the human heart, and it's divided into four chambers, the two upper atria and the two lower ventricles. The right atrium receives blood from the body and sends it to the right ventricle to be sent to the lungs for oxygenation. The left atrium receives the newly oxygenated blood and sends it to the left ventricle to be sent throughout the rest of the body. The valves between the chambers are meant to prevent reverse blood flow. Here we have a simple video to depict this. Now we'll talk about the electrical pathways of the heart. Use the picture as a reference if you need to. The sinoatrial node, or the SA node, in the right atrium creates the strong and organized rhythm of electrical activity for the rest of the cardiac cells to follow. It's the intrinsic pacemaker of the heart. This pulse then travels to the atrioventricular node, or AV node, which lies between the atria and ventricles. After remaining there briefly, it moves on to the his Purkinje system, which is the group of cells that branches into the left ventricle and right ventricle, and stimulates them to contract and pump blood. It's important to comprehend the normal electrical pathways in the heart because it makes for an easier detection of sudden abnormal functionality. When blood enters the atria of the heart, an electrical impulse is sent out from the SA node and conducts through the atria, resulting in atrial contraction. This impulse then travels to the AV node, which in turn sends out an electrical impulse and travels through the bundle branches and the Purkinje fibers of the ventricles resulting in ventricle contraction. The time between atrial and ventricular contraction registers on an ECG strip as the PR interval, while the ventricular contraction registers on an ECG strip as the QRS complex. Following ventricular contraction, the ventricles rest and repolarize, which is registered on the ECG strip as the T wave. The atria repolarize also, but this coincides with the QRS complex and therefore cannot be observed on the ECG strip. Together, a P wave, QRS complex, and T wave are indicative of normal sinus rhythm, or NSR. Here's a summary and picture of the ECG strip. Feel free to pause it here to study this slide. This concludes the anatomy and physiology of the heart. The next section is a systematic approach.